What's going on guys? So welcome to part two, maybe part three, I can't really remember, of the Brookstone reveal. So in the previous two videos, we kind of gave you an overall view of what's going on with this unit. And the last video was really focused around a lot of the things that differentiate Brookstone from some other units on the market and the things that we specifically did to this one that differentiate it from a traditional or a normal off the lot Brookstone. So a lot of stuff. If you didn't watch that video, go check it out. It was a little longer than we had anticipated, but there's a lot of good information in there and I think you'll like it. In this video, we're gonna focus on the interior and we're gonna specifically just touch on the things that are different about this unit and similar, but you may not have known about the Brookstone. So hang tight, I'll be right back. So we are back and we're inside of my brand new 398 MBL prototype unit, concept unit, concept. whatever you want to call Absolutely. it. And this specific unit has a lot of really interesting things that we've done to it. So I still got my friend Dave Hofer with Coachman Fifth Wheels here with me. And we're gonna quickly go through some of them. So the one area I really wanna touch on is the biggest differentiation in the kitchen of this unit and the kitchen of the previous one. And that's what we did to this wall right here. Okay, so over here, JD, obviously the biggest difference, the current running 398, the production model, you have an entrance from here to the mid bunk room or mid den. Yep, right here. Okay. Exactly. So what we wanted to do is obviously expand the size here of your you know, designated coffee station or a buffet area. Coffee station. Fantastic. Um, we're giving you a lot more storage over here. So the entrance did have some corner cabinets, beautiful aesthetic, but you know, I really see the functionality in this as well. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we've pushed the wall back just a few inches. You know, you lose just a little bit in the bunk room, but what you're gaining here is a full-size pantry. So that's absolutely huge in well, my opinion. And you could arguably say that the few inches you lose in the bunk room were inches that you could never have really used in the bunk room. Absolutely. Right, absolutely. it was literally that much that was unaccessible anyways. So right. it was repurposing that space. They're both they're both unique in their own right. Mm -hmm. I, I do like the aesthetics of the previous, but functionality wise, I, I completely see where we're going with this. You've got the full drawers here that slide all the way out. You know, there's just so many nice extra features here. So what you're seeing here, we went through several versions of. I mean, this was probably, I don't know, five to 10 calls and emails and pictures just trying to get this to work perfectly. Because the previous version one of this unit, the one that we, we ended up not going with, had a shallower pantry. There were some areas here that just didn't make quite as much sense. So we went back to the drawing board and on this one, we were able to get more room in the pantry and still have this fantastic coffee station. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna imagine it's probably close to three feet wide. Very, very nice. So very happy with that. Thank you. Moving on. So if you look at your current 398 MBL, this is all gonna look very familiar because this wall was largely unchanged, but. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is, this is fantastic. So going through this whole COVID debacle, we've all had a lot of requests for mobile offices. So for me, I can airplay from a laptop directly to the TV right here. Um, this is phenomenal. So, you know, let us know your opinion on this, whether you like this, is it too big? Um, easily moves down. Um, this support is so beefy back behind here as well, so it's extremely robust. That's not going to fail. Yeah. Um, on this side too, just a few highlights from the first unit that we built for JD. Um, this is a new feature. So this was part of that model year changeover. Um, we brightened up a lot of the wallboard on the inside. We added LED backlighting to all the main cabinets. Okay, so if you have the glass. Uh, motion sensor lights here, but it really gives you a, a really beautiful aesthetic as you're going panning through the unit here seeing all the uh, LED backlights. Yeah. Um, so something that's also kind of different and unique is when we walked through the current 398 MBL, I felt we could do something better right here. And what I mean by that is the cabinets are a little lower. So you really couldn't fit a large trash can in here. Right, right. There were four drawers right here instead of three. So more pots and pans storage. Yep. 
over here. So you got a place for your utensils and everything. Absolutely. But here's the big one. So this used to be where the trash can was. This Correct. was a pullout for the trash can. We did shift the trash can across the aisle here. So this is a very unique feature that uh, we worked with the supplier on. So JD does a lot of cooking. I kind of do a lot of the cooking in my household. So you've got a spice rack on this side and then you've got a spot over here for larger pans. Yep, or cutting boards or whatever you need to mm -hmm. put there. And they put it on four ball bearing roller glides. That's, I mean, really awesome. Right. So that thing's not going anywhere. Right, and we use nothing but the larger drawers are going to have 100 pound ball bearing drawer guides. Smaller drawers will have 75 pound ball, yeah. ball bearing drawer guides, so. Very good. The TV is on an articulating arm. Is that standard on Brookstone? This is. This is standard across the board. If the option for the TV, the main TV in the living area will articulate. And that goes across to all of our product lines. Perfect. Got the panoramic view fireplace down here, 36 inch wide. Over 5,000 BTUs. Yeah, so and I can feel four, it right now too. 40,000 BTU furnace combined with all of the extra insulation that we use. We actually duct the furnace to the underbelly in all of our products as well. So we enclose all of the gate valves, all of the pipes, anywhere where water is going to flow. That's fully enclosed, insulated, and heated. So 45,000 BTUs combined in this unit. That is awesome. And this sofa, so this sofa and the theater seating here, again, are pretty traditional to Brookstone. Correct. This folds out into almost a king size bed. It does. So it's we're, huge. We're known for having our larger sofas at the back. A lot of brands they'll be using a 68 or 65. This is a 78 inch trifold high to bed sofa. So you can easily lay down here and take a nap without having to make the bed. Yep. So another unique feature this is standard now in brookstone so we're adding some hidden storage okay. and what's funny is so this is something two years ago and i'm not going to mention any other brands but you see this in a few other brands now but this is something that, that part of our collaboration two years ago i mentioned we should do so technically this is something that we really were talking about a long time ago absolutely and we're always trying to give customers outlets everywhere possible so you notice how we've raised the outlets up towards the top dual usb charging obviously very unique to your unit here jd we've got the dual roller shades so you've got the blackout shades now before we got here we had the shades completely rolled down and it mm. i mean it, it blacks it out it yeah. is it is absolutely fantastic so you do have the screen if you wanted to dim just a little bit and then the blackout shade yeah those are wonderful so let us know your thoughts on this if you like this if you don't like it if you like the black um it comes standard with an off-white Mm -hmm. kind of white off white yeah i specifically um, requested the black i think it blended better absolutely so the dual portion is what's unique to jd's unit as well as the color so let us know if you like that obviously every brookstone comes standard with your heat massage led lights um, if you have theater seats in any of our products they always come with that feature so extra large table you'll always have a leaf if you have a freestanding table and chairs and you've always got storage of course very nice. Extra large windows. That's another unique feature too. Most of our windows, they all function, they all open, unless it's a transom window, for instance, like over here in the kitchen area. I love this, how it sheds all the extra light in. Um, mm -hmm. You'll find that across the board in almost every one of our products. Yep, and the reason why you don't see a valance above that window, I know a lot of people think that there's no such thing as code enforcement in RVs, right. but that's actually a code enforcement violation. It is. So they don't put it there specifically for that. So that's really good to know right. that there's a lot of checks that go into RVs that I don't think the general consumer knows. Right. You guys have to apply by codes. There are certain standards you have to meet. Absolutely. I mean, really, there's a lot. So pan up for a second. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we've got some extremely unique uh, battens up top here. I personally love this look. A standard Brookstone built today on the production line does not have the darker batten strips. Give us your opinion on this. This is something that we really want your feedback on. I love it. I, I, I actually kind of made this a mandatory thing. I was like, you know what? I want them. They really make it stand out because when I walk through units that have it, it kind of gives you a little bit more of that wow factor. Right. Right. That's and true. I love it. And I think everybody on the factory floor that walked through it really it. loved it. Yeah, it definitely has grown on me. Uh, while we're here, we have upgraded our faucets this year. Let us know your feedback on this as well. Now, this comes standard in Brookstone, so there's so many standard features. Um, but we have gone to a one-piece, you know, larger. It's a very deep sink, stainless steel. Do you like this? Um, do you prefer a 50-50, 60-40? 
I soak dishes and then I, you know, I rinse them. Um, that's mm-hmm. just the way I do it. So I'm kind of curious, user feedback. I kind of like? like the split sink. I, I, this was one thing I didn't think about when we were talking about this unit. So right. they put the new sink that they're currently using. But yeah, I kind of like the split sink. But you know, with the beacon that we've been using, this is the type of sink it has. And we've used it just fine because you can fit larger items in here to clean Absolutely. them. So that was really nice. So, and just touching on a few standard items, you know, obviously the heat massage, the LED lights, this countertop is standard across the board in all Brookstone. So this is an LG solid surface countertop, and it does come standard with the, the real nice sink covers here as well. So, really nice feature. Doubles as a cutting board on the back side. Very nice. Armstrong flooring is Congolian. And then coming up the stairs here, the pan shot you may have already seen, um, there's three air conditioners on this unit. Okay? Yep. So should we talk about that already? We should talk about that, okay. yeah. So this is a very unique, it's a, it's a prototype air conditioner. It's not even technically on the market yet. So your standard Brookstone comes with a 15K in the main living area and a 13.5 in the bedroom. And it's dual ducted. It's almost like a racetrack, okay? What we're doing here is something very unique. It's a prototype. Um, three 13.5 K ACs, okay? And these are a quiet AC. So our normal talking voice is about 60 dBs. These run on the lower setting about 50 dBs. So they're extremely energy efficient. They don't require any type of a, a power management system mm -hmm. to operate. All of that is handled from the controller. Yep. So this is something we are looking at down the road. Um, give us your input. Maybe when air conditioners are in a little better supply, <laughs> mm -hmm. we would like to look at this as an option. Um, but this is a prototype. Let us know what you think. And I'm going to let you guys know what I think as well, because once summer temperatures start hitting in and, you know, it's 110 degrees outside beaming down, I'm going to let you guys know how these three air conditioners perform in this unit. So that's going to be really cool. And I do have a feeling you do have double batten installation inside mm -hmm. the roof of every Brookstone. Like I said, we're pushing over R45 values and radiant barrier over the top of that. So mm -hmm. on an 80 degree day, we have the equivalency of over R45. So they do include a residential microwave and a three burner gas cooktop. And I know a lot of folks are starting to see like those insignia cooktops and some of the, the more residential style cooktops. But when it came to this one, it was funny because I kind of wanted an insignia cooktop, but when I talked to them about it and I understood that, you know, you can't even really use all the burners because it's so compact it didn't make a lot of sense. So we're like, you know what, if it's a big cost savings and it makes more sense, let's go with something that's more practical and usable. Because in the beacon that we were reviewing, we never really could use all four burners. There was such low fuel supply that would come to them if we had them all on, plus the fact that you were cramming in all your pots and pans into such a small area. So going with the three burner gas cooktop was more of a value oriented decision for us. Let's go with something that makes more sense practically over cosmetically. And I think you're seeing that through this entire unit, especially, you know, with how we did the coffee station and the storage over here. Okay, so now we're in front of the Samsung residential refrigerator. This correct. is something that you can get optional in Chaparral, um, or is correct. it not available in Chaparral? Um, so in certain products, we have different offerings. Mm -hmm. So in the Chaparral product line, we now offer, depending on the model, an eight cubic foot gas and electric, a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt, 12 volts becoming more and more Super popular, popular because they work in conjunction with the 190 watt solar panels perfectly. So mm -hmm. very, very long lasting batteries with that option. Um, so the 17 cubic foot refrigerator in the Brookstone, we have the upgrade option for an 18 cubic foot Samsung refrigerator. Um, That's this what we is have phenomenal. Here. Yeah, it does come with the ice maker as well. There's even an ice maker shutoff valve on the outside in the docking station, so it makes it really easy to winterize. Very nice. So next, we're walking into one of my favorite rooms, and this is the mid bunk. So this comes off of the main hallway right in front of the entrance. We got David in here already, Hello. and he's gonna walk us through some of the things that they've done to this mid bunk. Absolutely, so we moved this room over just a little bit, and you would never know it. We're still able to give you all of this extra storage, okay? So a hanging wardrobe, full extend ball bearing drawer guides, JD works a lot on his computer and on his, um, on, a, on his tablet. So he wanted to have a workstation area here and it's a great spot for the kids. So it's really a dual purpose room. Um, 
in the Brookstone product. Now we do have a loft above this room as well. Mm -hmm. And very Plus, good ceiling heights in here as you well. You really do, absolutely. How tall are you? <laughs> I'm six foot five. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no. you probably have upwards of about at least six three. Easily. Inside of here, yeah. easily. I'm five seven on a good day, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, it's so you do have the uh, the lift up bunk here, and then you have a trifold height of bed sofa here. The table is stowable, so that can easily remove. Yep, absolutely, and it comes removed, so it was actually tucked underneath the mattress. The mattress hasn't flattened out, but that's where it was. All of this was under the mattress. And all of our bunks will hold 300 pound capacity there. So, and by code, you are going to have a safety exit here as well. So mm -hmm. that's a nice added safety feature. A lot of lighting in here too. You got six LED lights up top and then you have one right here for your desk space. And this is a very deep desk space. We wanted this to be practical and usable. It's one thing to have a desk, but if the desk only comes out this far, it's not as practical. So with this one, you can fit an office chair under here. Again, it's probably close to probably 32 inches wide. And I really like... So one of the changes between the 398 MBL, when you walked into the 398 MBL from the entry, you would have a coat closet right there. So by having the door here, we did eliminate the coat closet, but we're still giving you hooks right here behind the door. So as soon as you walk in the door, take off your jackets, you got a place for them. Yep, or if you have company over or people over, you just put them in here and they're out of sight. Absolutely. So very nice. All right, I think that's it for this room. I love the height in here because I've walked through a lot of products that it just barely scrapes the top of my right. head. And this one gives you tremendous amount of height. And you said 5'7", but you have at least another foot above you Easily. to get to the ceiling, which yeah. is really, really nice. Super cool. And I love that they still include this. A lot of mid bunks don't give you a dinette option in here right. anymore too. Right. So that's also and, nice. You know, honestly, JD, one thing we really didn't talk about is as you're bringing up the height of the unit, um, the Brookstone is a high profile and it is a wide body unit. So mm -hmm. we're 101 inches wide, whereas Chaparral is going to be 96 inches wide. Yep. It does give you all that extra walk around room around the bed, in the mid den, in the living area. Mm -hmm. This unit has seven foot tall slide outs. I mean, I can literally yep. reach with, <laughs> I'm That's only crazy. five seven, like I said, but still um, full extended and I'm still barely touching the, the roof of the slide outs in the main living area. Very cool. Let's move on. Okay, so now we're going up the hallway. This is the entrance to the mid bunk. One thing you'll notice that's different between this unit and your traditional Brookstone or even Chaparral is the use of dark wall panels. Now, this isn't something they normally do. I really, really wanted this because I love that wood look. I love that dark, rich tone that this gives you on the wall. Typically, it's gonna be this color. And what I didn't like you see all your control panels there, and then you see your control panels here. I didn't like the control panels being on this really light colored wall because it kind of made them all stand out a lot. And this blends in a lot better. But we're coming up the top of the stairs here. These are all your controls for your slides, everything else. And we're not gonna focus too much on this because this is pretty common on most units, except the fact that you have your tank heaters down here, which Correct. is super cool. And I think that's pretty cool too. So, and these are standard across the board in all Brookstone. So they're 12 volt heat pads. So as you're traveling down the road, there's no need to turn on the furnace to prevent water from freezing in the tanks. Yep, that's Huge awesome. Advantage. So my next favorite area, or the kids' favorite area, should I say. So you wanna tell us what's unique about this loft? The fact that we've got a mid-den with a loft and you still have the extra added height here, mm -hmm. uh, because we're such a high profile unit, um, overall the Brookstone height is about, oh, we're, we're looking at, um, 13.5 mm -hmm. versus about 12.5 to 12.6 on a chaparral. So that gives you that extra room here to, I can easily jump up here, okay, with, without issue, okay? Mm -hmm. So one thing that's interesting, you see that piece of wood right there? That's your ducting from your AC going into your mid bunk. One of the biggest challenges of a mid bunk unit is how do you cool it effectively? Well, they came up with a really good system so the air just shoots straight down and you get a good amount of airflow inside of the mid bunk, Absolutely. which is really, sure really do. nice. Okay, so as we work our way down the hallway, you may stop here and wonder, why is there a threshold in the middle of the hallway? It just doesn't make any sense, right? What is this for? Well, if you guys recall in a video I did on the chaparral we owned, we used to take the bathroom door, swing it open and pin it in place. So if my wife or daughter wanted privacy into the bedroom and they just didn't want to have to constantly open and close the door to move in and out between the bedroom and the bathroom, they could do that. Well, I told the folks at Coachman, I really, really wanted that feature. So they added a threshold, magnetic latch up top, and now you can close off 
the bathroom and bedroom from the rest of the RV. This is very similar to what you might normally get or expect to see in a front bathroom unit where right. you have a bedroom and then you have a master bathroom up front. But now you have that same privacy in this specific unit, which is super cool. I love it. Absolutely. Again, comment on this one. Let us know if this is something you'd want to see down the road in Brookstone. Yeah, because you can do this on a lot of different floor plans. Absolutely. Yeah, this isn't just limited. Rear living room floor plans, this could be an option. You bet. Okay, so we are now in this gorgeous, gorgeous bathroom. So you can probably tell the shower wall is different than what you might normally see in a Brookstone or a Chaparral. Now, you also see that it has chicken pox, right? <laughs> and the reason why is one that I actually requested. Right. I am a member of so many RV forums. And when you sit on these forums and you see people post pictures of their shower wall delaminating because you know they use it down in the south or they go down to a very hot climate area it kind of concerns you so it concerned me and i just didn't want to ever deal with that so they put all this in and it was all smooth and it looked great but i was very concerned that the excessive heat we get down here in south texas especially when these are in storage or when it rains and you get humidity build up that the adhesive might eventually fail correct so i contacted them and i said you know what, I've seen other brands, they put these pop rivets in and it makes it look a little bit different. It takes away a little bit, but I would rather have the peace of mind that I'm not gonna be in here dealing with a wall that's delaminated. So Absolutely. they said they'd do it. Yeah. yeah, better safe than sorry. And in the long run, you know, this was obviously one of the first units that we put together with this particular shower surround. Um, the manufacturers definitely very intuitive and working with us on the installation in ways that we can keep this material from delaminating but and we could probably add a fewer amount of these throughout but we really wanted to bulletproof jd's unit just to make sure yep so keep in mind that if they did ultimately go to something like this if this is like mandatory for you all and you want this in an rv that what i did here was purely preventative that's all it was. It was just preventative. It was just to pr prevent this from eventually coming off because, again, I just don't want to deal with it in the future. Because fixing it means drilling holes and all that. And I didn't want to do that. Yeah. And, you know, I do like this because with a fiberglass tub, if you ever get a crack in it, as you know, it's almost impossible to put back in. You're basically going to a two piece at that point. Mm -hmm. so. And this is all modular, so that's Absolutely. really nice. Love the fact that you guys have the porcelain sink. My Chaparral, I think, had a plastic sink. My Correct. earlier one. Earlier but one. This is really nice that it's porcelain. And I walked through a Chaparral earlier and I think it was porcelain as well, Correct. right? Correct, yeah. Most of the mid-profiles, uh, unless it's a secondary bath for the kids, mm -hmm. it'll have a porcelain, porcelain sink. Um, thermal foil counters, which is nice because the thermal foil here, you'll notice there's no T-mold, so water can't seep into mm -hmm. the sides and swell the countertop. Yep, yep. That looks really nice. Very nice and a lot of room in front of the toilet. That's, that's actually very important for a lot of people Absolutely. and a lot of room next to it. You've got linen storage here, towel hooks. Yep, and you even threw in a soap hook and another that was a, hook over here. That was a JD special. Yeah, that was cool. He, he had all this stuff and he goes, I'm putting this stuff in, where do Absolutely. you want it? So that's really cool, like the basket and all that. But you know, comment on it. Is this stuff that you'd like to see in a unit? You know, maybe it can make its way to production. You never know. Again, I love the dark wall. Looks really nice. So now we're gonna walk into the bedroom. I always call it a master bedroom, even though it's well, I guess in a mid-bunk, you can call it a master bed. I call it a suite. Yep. So this is a king-size bed, but check out what's on the end of the bed. These are super cool. These are concept end They're tables. concept. It's actually something very similar to what we used about 10 years ago with Brookstone. Um, we removed it. We used to have wings coming around. I didn't like this, um, by the way. Yeah. So let us know. Would you rather see the wings coming around the side with a cup holder, or do you like the bookshelf? We've also added as an extra convenience. Now, most Brookstones in years past would have a 110 outlet on both sides of the bed. Same for Chaparral. We actually have three now. <laughs> so what we're envisioning here, a perfect place for a cell phone. You can plug it in up on the top here on both sides. Um, but let us know which one you like better. Yeah. You're always going to have the soft touch headboard. You're always going to have the transom window. You're always going to have, you know, in the bed slide units, the opposing Mm -hmm. windows there so you'll get a nice cross breeze coming very nice very nice and nice tall slide heights you don't have to worry about banging your head if you hear a noise outside yeah, someone absolutely. rummaging through your trash and you it's really easy up. for me to get them in, in and around and to make the bed um, in the brookstone being a wide body as well absolutely so. and third ac unit 
And these are all completely ducted. They are. So, so that's a big difference from other units that might be a little bit more expensive, but have three only direct fire. That's correct. ACs. Our standard controller can actually handle up to four ACs. Not that that's going to happen. Yeah, that's cool though. Um, but yes, it can actually handle that. And that's a standard feature in all of our products. We always pre-wire, pre-frame, prep. It's all there, even the sensors on the wall. So. And ducting is actually relatively expensive. Right. So you could have gone to the Coleman units that have the direct fire and probably a, save a some cost. A AC, a drop in AC yep. is what you'll traditionally see, but everything's ducted all the way through. Yep, very cool, very cool. Over so, here, this is pretty unique as well. So this is a new feature we added this year. So now this isn't just a feature that my Brookstone has, right? Correct, no, this is this is standard, standard in all 398 MBLs, 298s, it's floor plan specific, um, but this is a standard new feature in Brookstone. You know, it's a great place to hide stuff, of course, but it's also a great place for there you go. TV remote. Because I would have forgotten that there. Right. I'm going to take off and then I'll see a broken remote on the floor. Right. We did finish off the underside here. Very strong gas strut, so it's really easy to lift up there. But we did finish off JD's unit with carpet underneath here. Let us know your opinion. So this is Velcro down. Great place for the dinette in the mid bunk. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. You can also store that underneath the bunk pad if you wanted to. Yeah, that's true probably going to go under here though all right so up front before we open the two magic doors here let's take a look at this enormous closet you've got a magic treat behind there too check this out oh yeah right there so i guess i'll hit on that first let me close this door a little bit there is a really cool item so typically you might see something like a dyson correct right that's probably what most people see yes when they asked do we want the dyson in here we said no we don't want the dyson we want this this is a makita cordless vacuum i bought one of these for my wife a couple years ago she has fallen in love with this vacuum so much so that we have five of them now everywhere they're awesome they're amazing and have you used one of these before I have, and actually it's it's amazing so this is one of those items that we'd like to you know get your feedback on mm -hmm. let us know if this is something you'd like to see as a standard item would you like this to be optional um Knowing that we can't do all of these things that JD has done. <laughs> yeah, but this is right. super cool. This is really nice. The charger's down here. It's got a nice little hanging portion right there. And it has a good fit in there. So, I mean, this made the whole trip down from Elkhart and the vacuum didn't fall out. So Correct. that's a really good thing. I love that vacuum. My wife was really, really happy when I told her that she'd get it. All right, let's, let's share. All right, let's open up the magical doors. All right. So all Brookstones do come with the prep for a stackable washer and dryer so to the left here you've got a full-size closet still mm -hmm. okay but all the plumbing everything's already there um, we installed these special for jd um, this is the splendid model this is what fit best um, it had the most support for us to be able to put brackets on the back side and you got room around it too mm -hmm. so i actually was able to reach my arm behind here if i had to shut a valve off correct that is really cool so the reason why we went ahead and opted for these and we didn't do these later is because i wanted to demonstrate to you all that they fit that they fit they stack all the way up a lot of times i'll go through units and it looks like you can fit a stackable set but you can't because the front curves down so much that it's not possible so you end up having to go to a combo unit so it was really important for me to show you all that you can get this with enough space to be able to adequately hold these and look there's still room on top that's crazy so there's plenty of room and it doesn't take much space out of your closet your closet is enormous in here really really nice space i like that you still use a traditional hanging rod right here as well it works out really well yeah very very pleased with that all your drawers down here absolutely 100 pound ball bearing yep. drawer guys and they're full, full extent yeah what else are we missing what else do we need to go over that that's different in the bedroom that was just about it okay so one thing is we have a sliding door here now so typically the brookstone is going to have a standard door but we put a sliding door here because we wanted to do what we did here with the bathroom door. So this gives you a lot more flexibility so you don't have two doors that are wide open. And I think, you know, types of doors are very, very subjective to different folks. You may love a swinging door, you may love a sliding door. Let us know, I like this setup the way it is. This is perfect because again, it gives you that privacy. And when I show people this, especially in the chaparral we had, they're like, that's just common sense. Just do this, this is awesome. But again, leave a comment below. We'd love to know your thoughts on this. 
Okay, so we're about to wrap this video up, but I did want to point out one critique about this specific unit that didn't really go the way I wanted it to. So the version one of this that I ultimately didn't end up getting, the one that I don't know if it got scrapped or what happened to it, but that specific one, we had moved the heat ducts so they hugged the edge of the island. I didn't want them in the island. I didn't want them coming off the side because that's extra curves that the air has to make and you actually lose some airflow because of that. But the furnace vents on this one ended up being in their traditional spot, which is right here and right there. And I would have liked this one right there or just right on the edge here. What do you guys think? I'd love to know your feedback on furnace vents. When you look at you know almost any of your higher end units, a lot of them are still doing that as well. So you look at DRV, you look at a lot of brands, this is still the way they do their heat vents. However, some manufacturers have opted to build them into the island, even if you lose a little bit of airflow due to that. But what's your opinion? Are you okay with the heat ducts like this? Or would you prefer them to be closer to the island? Or would you prefer them to come off the island? That's information that folks would like to know. Absolutely. All right, well, David, again, truly appreciate you coming on the channel. Truly appreciate what you guys were able to do. I mean, look at this, this is super cool. And a lot of this stuff is relatively subtle. It's not stuff that's so outlandish and crazy. We could have lit this thing up like Las Vegas if we wanted to, but we chose function over form, but not forgetting form. Right. Right. We want it to be cosmetically appealing, but at the same time, we didn't want it to be outlandish looking, but lacking really functional items. Absolutely. And there's a lot of people out there that are probably curious, is this available in other color schemes too? We do have, um, this is Mahogany Bay. This is the darker of the two colors. And then we have one called Silver Beach, which has a nice taupe or silvery gray overtone. So yeah. a couple of different options there for our customers. Perfect. Well, David, again, I truly appreciate it. This has been awesome. There are a lot of videos on this unit and they are pretty long. I didn't want to make each video in this series overly long. So we're trying to kind of make it to where you can look at the outside, you can look at the inside, you can see the overview of it and get all the information you need. So I hope you've enjoyed it. There's going to be some more. So definitely take a moment, subscribe to my channel. Thanks again, David. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Yep. And we'll talk to you guys again very soon.